Dear child of God, victory is on your side and you will forever be an overcomer. You have overcome the wicked one. You have overcome the works of darkness. You have overcome everything that they wanted to use to get you down because Jesus was with you, because the Lord have led you into your victory. Dear child of God, this will be a reason for you to rejoice. This will be a reason for you to praise all the days of your life. The word of God in 1 Corinthians 15 verse 57 says, But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus the Messiah. He said, Who gives us the victory? I want you to know today that the victory is yours already. And nothing the enemies are doing will ever get you down. They have won against you times and times again, but not anymore. Because the Lord is saying, you are victorious on all sides. The Lord is saying those things that they have used to get you down in the past, it shall not succeed anymore. So you ought to take your strength back. You ought to be strong because the victory is yours. You see, the word of God in 1 John 2 verse 14 says, I write to you, young men, because you are strong and the word of God lives in you and you have overcome the evil one. 2 Corinthians 2 verse 14 says, But thanks be to God who always leads us in triumph in Christ and manifests through us the sweet aroma of the knowledge of him in every place. There will be the manifestation of the sweet aroma of God's victory in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The word of God clearly stated, it says they that know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploits. They shall do great things. They shall be achievers. They shall do mighty things. And the Lord is speaking about you. He says you will do great things. You will do mighty things. You will do awesome things and you will be more than an overcomer in the mighty name of Jesus. They may have prepared all the things that they wanted to prepare in their next attack against you. But I want you to know that the Lord who goes before you is victorious, my God. They may have gathered everything to reinforce and do everything to get you down because they couldn't succeed the previous times. But dear child of God, the more they come, is the more they will fail because the Lord has said to you, I have told you this, that through me, you would have peace. Through me, you would have overcoming victories. Through me, you would never fail. He says that you should be courageous because in the world there is troubles, no doubt. But he says, cheer up because every time they come against you, you will forever overcome them every means at which they come against you he says you would have the heads up at all times so dear child of god do not be afraid in all the things they are doing they may carry all the preparations they may gather all the things that they think they have but the lord is saying to you today according to proverbs 21 verse 31 that is going before you with victories and you shall see victories on all sides in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dear child of God, it is already established that you have overcome the evil one. You have overcome everything that wanted to destroy you. Those enemies that wanted to see that you cry every day. Dear child of God, do not give them reasons to see tears on your face anymore because the Lord is saying to you, you are strong and you are more than a victor. You are more than a conqueror. You have what it takes in you to reign in victory. And this will cause you to rejoice all the days of your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are born of God. And the scripture clearly stated in 1 John 5 verse 4. Because everyone who is born of God has overcome the world. Our faith is the victory that overcomes the world. This faith is in you. And this is the victory that overcomes the world. Keep believing in this God that you are serving. Keep believing in this God that can never be defeated. Keep believing in this God that is forever victorious. And all the days of your life, 
the words of your mouth will be, Thanks be to God who gives me victory through our Lord Jesus Christ the Messiah. Thanks be to God who did not allow the enemies to succeed over me. Thanks be to God who did not allow the plans of the enemies to come to pass against my life and against my family. You will sing a new song, dear child of God, as found in Psalm 98 verse 1. It says, Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done awesome deeds. His right hand and powerful arm have brought him victory. Dear child of God, he will continually bring you this victory in the mighty name of Jesus. He will continually make sure that victory is on your side because he had brought you to himself in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not be drowned in the mighty name of Jesus. He will not allow the plans of the enemies to succeed against you in the mighty name of Jesus. You will forever be an overcomer in Jesus mighty name. They will not see you cry again. They will not get you down again because the Lord is settling everything that concerns you in the mighty name of Jesus. Your home will stand again. Your marriage will be restored in the mighty name of Jesus. And the areas at which they got at you in the past, the Lord have secured in the mighty name of Jesus. The weaknesses you had in the past, the Lord have given you strength. He had written to you and he says to you, be strong. Do not be down anymore and you'll forever overcome in the mighty name of Jesus. You'll be crowned with victory all the days of your life and you will not leave the place of victory in Jesus' mighty name. I say to you multiple congratulations because you have overcome. I say to you this day that the grace of God will forever go with you. Dear child of God, I want to assure you the deliverance of God is coming your way and the host of angels assigned to help you will be there to help you in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God says, but the angel of the Lord by night opened the prison doors. Dear child of God, the angels of the Lord would open every door that needs to be opened in the mighty name of Jesus. Every door that may have been shut by the enemies. Today, the Lord will send his angels to go open up those doors in the mighty name of Jesus. The enemies may have stood against you. They may have stood at the door to your progress. Dear child of God, it may seem as though your resources, your monies, the things that are supposed to make you relevant in life had been sat upon, had been shut off by the enemies. But today, the Lord will send his deliverance and he would make sure there is an open door in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Psalm 78 verse 23, the word of God says, Though he had commanded the clouds from above and opened the doors of heaven, dear child of God, the angels will be going all out for you and they will open the doors from heaven that ought to be opened in the mighty name of Jesus. At the time that Daniel was in distress, the angel of the Lord came and said that I have been sent. I have been sent though I was withheld, but your angel, yes, the archangel assigned to you had come to help me, had come to rescue me. Dear child of God, there would be a divine rescue in the mighty name of Jesus and everything will go smoothly for you in the mighty name of Jesus. You may have been bound right now, but I want to assure you, God will do something, something massive that will shock the enemies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By the time that God delivered Peter, by the time God did the miraculous work, indeed in the life of Peter, even Peter himself, was amazed. The people praying for him for his deliverance were also amazed when he got out. Dear child of God, what the Lord would achieve through your angels would amaze everyone that are connected to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Even much more the enemies, even much more the haters in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember when Paul and Silas was in prison and they began to worship the Lord. The word of God says that they praised and they prayed. And as soon as they did so, 
there was a divine intervention. Dear child of God, this is what would happen in the mighty name of Jesus. The jailer was astonished when it happened, when God brought their deliverance. This is how it's going to happen for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who were behind it, those who were behind your afflictions, dear child of God, those who were behind the predicaments that you were going through, I want to assure you, when the Lord sends his angel, when the Lord sends the assistance, the divine assistance attached to your life, this would amaze the people that had caused the reason at which you were in that bondage in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What Daniel said was the Lord sent his angels and shut the mouth of the lions, my God. He said the Lord sent his angels and shut the mouth of the lions. I don't know where you are right now. I don't know the situations you may be faced with right now, but I want to assure you, dear child of God, God will send his angels the host of heaven will come shut the mouth of the enemies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The naysayers, the people who wanted to bring you down, the people who wanted to talk you down, the people who were waiting to testify wrongly against you, the Lord God will send the angels to shut them down, to shut them off in the mighty name of Jesus. And this is how you would experience victories. Dear child of God, this is how you will see your breakthrough. This is how you will see your deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dear child of God, this day I want to remind you that your angels, those assigned to help you, they do not go to sleep. They never get tired. So do not be afraid. Yes, if the enemies may have been fighting you tirelessly, I want you to know that your angels are excelling in strength my god the word of god says that the angels are excelling in strength and they will do mighty things they will do tremendous things for you in the mighty name of jesus they will do things that will cause you to rejoice they will come to your rescue yes your family those who are in trouble today the host of heaven will go all out through the angels assigned to you to see that they are delivered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I don't know who is in captivity right now. It may be your children. It may be your loved ones. It may be you. You may be afflicted with some sickness, with some disease. Today, the host of heaven, the angels assigned to you. We do something amazing in the mighty name of Jesus. And you will feel the hand of God. The mighty hand of God touch you greatly in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The same way that the mouth of Isaiah was touched with the coal of fire. Dear child of God, this is how the Lord will touch you. And the same way it was transformed, so you will be transformed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever it is that needs to cut off, it would cut off in the mighty name of Jesus. Trust in God who does wonders. Trust in God who changes the stories of his children. And it will change your story without fail. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will have the victories. You will see open doors in the mighty name of Jesus. And every blessing, dear child of God, every blessing meant for you. Today, you will begin to get them in the mighty name of Jesus. The angel told Daniel that from the day, from the day you began to pray, the Lord has sent me and has sent me to make sure that you have understanding, dear child of God. You will see clearly everything that you are praying about and you will have victories in the mighty name of Jesus. You may have been locked up. You may have been shut down for a long time. Today, there will be divine interventions in the mighty name of Jesus. The same way that Paul and Silas were delivered, so you will be delivered in the mighty name of Jesus. The same way Peter was delivered, so you will be delivered. In the mighty name of Jesus, the same way God sent his angels to shut the mouth of the lions so that Daniel would not be hurt, so you will be preserved and protected in the mighty name of Jesus. The enemies cannot do you any harm. The word of God says, touch not, touch not, 
touch not, touch not, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Dear child of God, they would not be able to harm you in the mighty name of Jesus. You will excel. You will be victorious all the way in Jesus' mighty name. You would have reasons to rejoice because the Lord has settled you, because the Lord had done you well in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You see, the angels fought for Daniel and then victories was restored. Dear child of God, your victories shall be restored in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that ought to be working will be working in your life again in the mighty name of Jesus. You are an overcomer. You cannot be defeated. It is not in the book of God that you should be defeated. He says he has great plans for you. He has good thoughts for your life to give you a future and a hope to bring you to an expected end. Dear child of God, that expectation, that wonderful expectation that God has for you is not that you will be destroyed. No, that is not the plan of God. So today, the angels are signed to fight for you. The angels are signed to defend you. The angels are signed to go all out for you. Dear child of God, today, they shall be rising on your behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. And those who have been contending against your life, they shall be contended with in the mighty name of Jesus. Their evil works shall cease today in the mighty name of Jesus. You see the power of God. Dear child of God, you see the might of God in a way and manner that you have never expected it before in the mighty name of Jesus. And those enemies, those fighting your progress, dear child of God, those fighting your relevance shall be dealt with in the mighty name of Jesus. God today will give you victories by the angels assigned to you in Jesus' mighty name. The psalmist prayed in Psalms 89 verse 8. He said, O Lord of hosts, who is strong? Who is a strong Lord like unto thee? O oh, to thy faithfulness round about thee. He said, Who is as strong as thee? Who is as strong as the whole Lord of hosts? Today, the Lord God of heaven that is strong is coming with the host to fight for you. And then today you will see a change from this very day, dear child of God, this very moment, this very hour, you begin to hear the news of your victories in the mighty name of Jesus, because God is going to turn everything around in Jesus' mighty name. He said he lifted up his eyes and then he saw four horns. The horns Yes, the strong enemies that were dispersing the people. The angels replied to him and said to him, These are ones. Yes, these are the strong enemies of my people that are fighting my people. They took my people out of Judah, out of Israel, and out of Jerusalem. They are child of God. They may have taken you out of your marital home, but today there shall be a restoration. In the mighty name of Jesus, heaven will fight for you. And there will be a resolve, yes, in Jesus' mighty name. Heaven will fight for you. They may have taken you out of your position, your elevated position, the place of your relevance. Dear child of God, the place of your promotion, you may have been taken away from. But today there shall be a restoration in Jesus' name. And I looked up and saw four horns. And I asked the angel who was talking to me, what are those? And so he answered, and so he answered me, those are the forces that have dispersed Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem, my God. He says, those are the forces. Dear child of God, I want you to know that there are forces. There are forces that have dispersed your blessings. There are forces that are fighting against you night and day. But today you would have the victories in the mighty name of Jesus. Because God is showing up and those enemies, those powers from the pit of hell, that were there to disperse you, to cause you to be broken, to cause you to be crushed, to cause you to be defeated, shall be dealt with by the angels of God assigned to you in the mighty name of Jesus. The angels of God are rising, yes, they are rising to fight for you. And whatever it was that was behind the situations you were faced with, the angels of God assigned to you will deal with each and every one of them. He says, those are the forces that have dispersed Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. Dear child of God, I want you to know that there are forces. There are forces fighting against you night and day. There are forces you cannot see with your physical eyes, but they are there to contend against you, to contend against your blessings, 
to withstand you night and day. You say Daniel was withheld. From the day he prayed, the scriptures recorded that the answers to his prayers were sent already, dear child of God. All of the answers, all of the understandings, everything he needed was sent. But the angels was fought against. Why? Because the prince of Persia withstood them. I want you to know that your blessings were sent. But they are enemies dispersing it, dear child of God. The things that you needed in your life to make your life beautiful. Dear child of God, the things that you needed in your life to make your life great, God has sent them forth. But those enemies, those powers of darkness, those witchcraft powers, had scattered them, had dispersed them. He says, so I asked the angelic messenger who spoke with me, what are these? He replied, these are the ones that have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. Dear child of God, what if there was a force behind the breaking of your marriage, behind the dissolution you have experienced in your life, behind the things that you did not get, behind the rejections that you were getting night and day? Dear child of God, what if there are forces? There are forces withholding your blessings. Today, the God of heaven is going to arise for you and the angels assigned to you will fight for you in Jesus' mighty name. Today you will see the victory that you have been believing in God for. Dear child of God, everything will begin to change because the host of heaven assigned to fight for you shall be all out for you in the mighty name of Jesus. And whatever it was that was dispersed, whatever it was you were denied, the angels of God fighting for you would ensure that they will be restored in the mighty name of Jesus. He said they looked he lifted up his eyes and he saw horns. He saw four horns. Dear child of God, whatever it is, whatever means the enemies had used to fight you today, God will reveal them. He said he looked and he saw. God would open your eyes supernaturally and you will see the root cause of the problem. Dear child of God, God would open your eyes today and you will know what to do. You will see exactly where everything was happening from. And this is how God is going to give you victory in the name of Jesus. He said he lifted up his eyes and then he beheld four horns. Dear child of God, what is it you need to behold today? God will cause you to see it. Yes, the reason your children are acting the way they are acting, God will make it known to you. The reason you are awake every day, the reason you are having that fatigue every day, God will make it known to you. Those who are behind it, Dear child of God, anything that was behind the situations you have been faced with, God will make it known to you. You would open your eyes to see and every one of them shall be dealt with in the mighty name of Jesus. God through his angels will break those horns, will break those horns of the enemies that had been fighting against you, that had been contending against your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, this is not a time to relent because the victory shall be certainly yours in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall overcome. Dear child of God, you shall overcome. You shall arise in victory knowing that Jehovah had brought you that victory in the mighty name of Jesus. Do not be afraid of them for the fact that God has revealed, for the fact that God has opened your eyes to see, to see what they are doing in secret. To behold the people who have been fighting you. To see the means at which they have been fighting you. To see the forces contending against your soul. Dear child of God, then it means you are halfway to your victory because you know how to combat them now. As God has revealed those problems, He will give you the power. The might is the strong God. There is no one like unto Him. And in His faithfulness, He will give you victories. Your angels will stand for you. They would help you to the very end in Jesus' name. Daniel was not left all by himself. Dear child of God, you'll be assisted. The host of heaven are with you. They shall assist you until you have that victory in Jesus' mighty name. Get set to testify for the Lord God of heaven will do you well and it will cause you to shine forth again and you would have a reason to laugh all the days of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. In all those things, we are triumphantly victorious through the one who loved us and you will forever be victorious in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.
It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.